This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Keefe with RacerXOnline.com. Welcome to another Garage Builds. We are at the legendary Paris Raceway, Paris, California. Clay-like, tight, little tight ruts, jumpy, fun to be around, lots of people out enjoying their motorcycle today. But we are here to talk about this 2005 KX250. Man, I have so much to talk about to this bike. But first, I'm gonna introduce the guy. It's his bike, he started this thing, there's a lot of things that I like to talk about in these garage builds, but for me, a garage build is all about the backstory. How did this bike come to fruition? This bike is a long time in the making, but this man right here, he spent some time riding dirt bikes, but he had a cool backstory, so I wanted to fill you guys in. So Chris, tell us a little about your background and how you got started riding. Uh, so basically, as a little kid, I grew up reading the magazines, really enjoyed you know, the dirt bike scene. However, unfortunately, financially, my family wasn't able to support me in my dream. So one year Santa brought me a, a 11 or 12 year old bike for Christmas and I rode the wheels off it, but it only lasted three months before it blew up and then it sat and I was only 13 at the time. So I went a long time without being able to ride dirt bikes after that. And if you at home know what we're like, as men, when we don't get to ride dirt bikes, you can bleep this out. We're ee, holes. That's what we're like. My wife tells me you need to go ride because you need to get out of the house. You're a, bit, you're a basket case. So. You went into the armed forces. How long, were you, how long did you serve and when did you come back to ride motocross? All right, so uh, when I turned 18, I joined the Marine Corps and about 15 years into my career, I finally had time to settle down and I got stationed in California, so it was like the motocross scene. So as, now as home, I wasn't deploying as much, I wasn't training as often. So I kind of started riding dirt bikes, uh, linked up with some friends in the local area and I got hooked and what I did is I bought a, a O2, this is in 2011, I bought an O2 YZ250. And I rode the crap out of that bike. I loved it, it like every childhood dream came true on an older bike, even when it was new to me, you know? And um, there was just something about that two stroke feel and riding that bike that even today I go back and I remember how I felt on that O2. So I kind of want to go back into the two stroke world. So I retired from the Marine Corps in 2015 after a 20 year career and I got hired by Twisted Development working for Jamie Ellis and he took me under his wing and trained me stuff. So my passion grew and grew and grew to where um, I was fortunate enough to become friends with Jay Clark over at, at Dirt Bike TV um, and we collaborated on a build and he gave me the you know carte blanche to do what I wanted to do and I found this 05 KX250, you know, it was lightly used, bought it from the original owner's uh, parents. They bought it for their kid and then he was off in college and they sold it. You said that when you took this thing apart, that the original OEM grease was still inside some of these bearings. Oh yeah, yeah. When I uh, I actually took the stock wheels off, these wheels on here are from Faster USA, so I took the stock ones to have them rebuilt for a spare set. And I said, hey, you know, take a look at these vapor blast the hubs, check the bearings and stuff. And as I was leaving, he popped the seal and he's like, dude, come here. So I walked back over and he's like, this bike has low hours. He's like, this is the factory grease still inside the seals. And after that, you know, it just started growing to where I was finding about how low hour this was. I um, sent the Raiders off to ICW and he straightened them out and, you know, braced them because the guy that had it before me crashed it. But he even gave me a call and told me, he's like, dude, this bike is low hours. He said, you can tell a lot from inside the radiator. He said, this bike wasn't rode a lot. So it just kept going. So 2005 KX250, tell us what you did here. I know you got a Tom Morgan racing tuned engine. Tom's been around for a long time. Tell us what you did inside the engine here. Uh, basically, I uh, collaborated with Jay Clark and we sent it off to Tom Morgan. I guess those two are good friends. And he went in there and ported it, jetted the carburetor, uh, did some mods to give us a, a, you know, a good, strong, powerful motor. So I have some, I want to admit some things here on this garage build. You know what? I was driving down here today and I was thinking to myself, I got to ride a two stroke. You guys know, I don't really like two strokes that much. But 
Man, was I pleasantly surprised about this thing. I had, oh man, I can't believe I'm saying this. I think I had one of the most fun times I've had in a long time with this thing today. The ruts were good, the track was good obviously, but man, you could really just sing this thing around the track wide open. My favorite thing about this whole bike is just revving it, revving it in the air. I just feel like I'm going 10,000 miles an hour, but very fun engine. You know, tell us a little bit about what your suspension spec is. I wrote it, I'll give you a little bit of feedback, but tell me who did it and uh, what's involved here. All right, so I obviously, uh, from the stickers, I sent the suspension off to Enzo. I became good friends with Ross Maeda and Will Decker that worked there, and, and Yoshi as well. And uh, I try to take all my stuff that I can afford to take to them because I really appreciate their friendship and their work. And, you know, it's set for a 250-pound guy. That's me. So I was a little nervous when you were going to ride it. Honestly, like, I thought the fork was soft. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, so I think it might be a little bit soft for you and it's getting broke in because I did break in the sucker for you today. And, uh, but overall, very balanced machine. We didn't even really check the sag. We just kind of hopped on it like a weekend warrior would and just like, I'm excited to ride it. You know how you have something in your garage and you can't wait to ride it and you lose your mind when you get to the track? You forget everything. You have a list. You're like, I'm going to check my sag. I'm going to check my tire pressure. I'm going to set my levers. Nope. You just hop on it and ride it. That's what I did today. So thing is beautiful. When, it, when you rolled it out to do some photos today, you had saran wrap around the tires. I'm like, man, this is like 2009 Supercross series when it's mud, you're rolling into Anaheim, right? So Decal Works did a wonderful job with the moto seat. It ties in nicely. I like that you ghost your numbers in. Did you have some input in this? Uh, a little bit. I talked with Jay and then we, he kind of lets Decal Works do their thing. And this is what they came up with. I was really pumped on the digital camouflage because the Marine Corps, where I you know, grew up, is kind of patent the uh, marine pattern which is a camouflage digital pattern yeah and i thought it was really cool that they just happened to come up with it so overall my experience today i've never been more pleasantly surprised about a two-stroke i came in and told chris if you're going to sell this thing it's mine i want to buy it i've never even said that ever about a two-stroke so this kx 250 man has a lot of bottom in for a two-stroke tom did a great job on the engine it actually revs out. I can come out of second gear, it doesn't fall on its face. Third gear, it's still luggable. And man, that sweet smell of a two-stroke, you can't beat it, right? Right, I love that smell, the feel. And you know, that one thing like you mentioned is that you can ring me this thing out and it feels like you're going fast, which is good because I think I'm a lifelong member of the beginner vet class, so. That doesn't matter, you're riding dirt bikes, it doesn't matter. Gal for brakes, little bits and pieces from Works Connection. Obviously, I, one of my favorite things from Works Connection is the hour meter, it kind of gives you into, um, if you want to do some maintenance to your bike, you know exactly where you're at on the hours. It sits up right here. It's easy to read. FMF pipe and silencer. This thing is beautiful, man. Black frame. SDPC, of course, you guys know San Diego powder coat, and they did a great job on the frame. ICW. Those things are pretty beefy. Yeah. So if you fall, you're going to be all right. Yes. That's why we went with it. <laughs> all right. Hopefully I don't fall. <laughs> hey, cool backstory. That's what we're talking about here in these garage builds. I like this bike a lot. You going to sell it? Not yet. He's going to ride a little bit, but hey, thank you for your service. Pleasure to have you back in the motorcycle world. It's been fun, and thank you, actually, thank you very much for opening my eyes to Two Strokes again because, man, I was a negative Nancy towards him, but awesome. this kind of opens my, my eyes up a little bit. So that wraps it up for this Garage Build 2005 KX250. If you guys want to see some more cool stuff, go to racerxonline.com, and if you want to read some little things that you don't get to see in the digital world, there's a print edition. Check it out. 12 issues. Really inexpensive. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. See you on the next one.